Hello everyone and welcome to ERA Military Collectibles. I'm trying to do my best with the lighting today, um, but it is not working for me. So, we are here today to look at this. This is the Dead X replica pistol. Um, I was talking to Jude Steins one day from the Irish Shooting Channel and I said to him that I, I was looking for a Dead X um, Browning, High Power, BAP, whatever you want to call it. I'll explain all that in a minute. And he said, I can get you one. Um, so we did a deal and this arrived in the post to me. So, Denix. Denix is a Spanish company. As far as I remember, it is a Spanish, a Spanish company and they make replica movie props and items like that for people to display. So, well, this is how the box comes. Now, the box did come a bit battered to me. I don't know whether that was how it came or what. So, you get your pistol. And you get this thing. I best throw this up over here on the way. I should put it here behind me. And you get this. This is just a like a, a brochure catalog of, of what they what other items they have. Um. So I'll ha I'll, have, I'll go have a look through this uh, at some point in time. But we're going to concentrate mainly on this item. So what is it? It's a bap. Well, what the Irish Army or the Irish Defence Forces refer to as a bap, Browning automatic pistol. It is the Browning High Power 9mm, also it can be gotten 40mm, or not, yeah, 40 Smith & Weston. Um, so that's what it is, it's, 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 a, it's a pistol, um, it's an automatic pistol, um, was, came into service in 1935 um, from a design from John Browning, um, was initially being manufactured in Belgium by Fabrique Nationale. Herstel, um, after they bought the design from Browning. Uh, the Second World War happened and the Belgians got overran and the Germans got the Fabrique National factories and they started mass producing them. Uh, the Allies started producing them in Canada and uh, also in England. Um, I believe Lee Enfield started making them as well. So there's lots of different manufacturers, but the original ones to get are Fabrique National, FN ones, um, and from all these other variants. Um, they were used, as I said, they came into service in 1935, and they're still they're still being made. You can still get them today. Um, this came out of, well, not this particular, um, but the model came out of service with the Irish Army in... I believe the mid twenty uh, mid two thousands, um, when they went to the Heckler and Koch USP, um, so this was a very very prevalent weapon, still being carried by some police forces, um, was famous for being carried in the Iranian embassy siege by the SAS, um, carried in the Falklands, carried in the Gulf, it's been carried all over the place. Um, now I do need to do a bit of, like this should be silver. Um, so I do I the bolt I do need to do a bit of uh, doctoring with this to make it a bit look a bit better. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about the actual pistol itself, the Denix pistol. One thing that's wrong with this Denix pistol is the safety catch does not work, and the bolt lock doesn't work neither. There's no bolt lock on it. Now I do know you can get swap this out for an original one, and it will. Um, work so pretty much the only thing that this will do as a um, replica is it'll cock and click the magazine does come out um i haven't tried to put mag uh, rounds into this yet or blanks or uh, substitute rounds because i don't have any um so I, I do need to get that sorted now, if I do remember, it feels it feels just slightly smaller than the original one did. If I can remember, I don't remember my finger being able to nearly wrap around the trigger. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Nice little pistol, nice little thing that came from the next. Thank you again, Irish Shooting Channel, for being able to source me this and being able to do a deal with me. So, I hope you enjoy, guys. Um, would recommend it. Uh, Denix is in Ireland are always a good uh, uh, thing for 
collectors, reenactors, museums, things like that to get their hands on because uh, we can't get the real ones uh, and DX are very, very hard to find. Um, so there you go. So I hope you like what we provide here at Air at Military Collectibles. Please like, please subscribe, please tune in for the next video. And as always, if you want to get in contact with the channel, there is an email at the top of the video description. And if you want to contribute to the channel, there's also an Amazon wish list. So thank you very much and I hope to see you again.